am going to introduce you to the right water. This machine right here makes ionized alkaline water. Now when somebody is having a gout attack, that means they've reached extreme levels of acidosis. And because our bodies are made up of like 70 trillion cells, I'd like to bring a little bit more understanding to the importance of the acid-alkaline balance. Now this is the way Thomas Edison put it. He said that every cell thinks. Every cell is a living organism in and of itself. And the cells of our bodies, they all kind of float in what's called the interstitial fluid. And it's this interstitial fluid, this water, that carries fuel and nutrients to our cells. And then it has to go through the cell wall to get to the inside where it's used, where it's burned to create energy. And it's in that burning that it creates waste. And then that waste has to pass back through the cell wall to get to the interstitial fluid so it can be carried off and eliminated. And that's kind of where the problem starts to begin because the cell wall is made up of basically fat. And when fat starts to oxidize, it becomes thick and sticky. It won't let the nutrients in and it won't let the wastes out. How does that happen? Well, it's just a natural part of metabolism, but it can be made much worse and it can be made to happen much faster through poor living, through poor living habits, through a bad diet, through breathing bad air, through not getting enough sleep, from getting all stressed out, there's all of those kind of things that can create this and make it happen much faster. But here's what we can do about it. This is the good thing about the right water, about ionized alkaline water. It does three things. To begin with, because of the, alkaline, uh, the ionizing process, it makes the water a huge antioxidant and that makes it very good for the cell wall because it helps clean up, repair, that, repair and prevent that oxidative damage that happens to the cell wall. Um, the second thing is that it's alkaline. And alkaline is the opposite of acid. So it helps to raise our body chemistry back up into a balance of pH. And third is that it changes the molecular structure of the water. It actually makes the water molecules smaller, so they're much more easily absorbed by the cell. And to begin with, most people are dehydrated in the first place. So I'm going to try to bring this to a little bit of a close, and I'm going to do it like this. Gout, in and of itself, is a huge indicator of an overly acidic bodily condition, i.e. too much uric acid. But you know what? So is heart disease, so is diabetes, and so is cancer, and so is almost every other disease. So because